Hey there, so today's video is all about Mercury retrograde. This Mercury retrograde is taking place August 23rd, which coincides with the beginning of Virgo season, which I personally find pretty interesting being a Virgo myself and a Virgo rising and the ruling planet for Virgo happens to be Mercury. So it should be a pretty interesting time. I'm going to let you know my take on it and my crystal recommendations for this. So again, it's August 23rd through September 15th is the Mercury retrograde. So whenever a planet goes retrograde, it really is a time to review and to reflect. What that means is the planet appears to be going in reverse. So Mercury rules our mind and our communication, um, electronics and travel. So that is slowing down, meaning we might have some communication mishaps. We may have some travel mishaps. And what Mercury is most known for is we may have some communication mishaps. Okay, but my little spin on that, my backwards Mercury retrograde spin on all of that is that it's something that we need to look at anyway. So whatever comes up, it was something that we needed to already look at. Um, today, for example, I had a meeting with uh, the gal that does a lot of my back end stuff for me with my shop and um, and my website and we were not able to get our zoom call to work which was ironic and we laughed because today happens to be the first day of mercury retrograde um, and we worked our way around that but we were very mindful to not launch anything until after mercury retrograde or until we've reviewed it several times so again it's just really about a time to slow down so let's get into the crystals that i recommend and i just want to share with you if you haven't already seen my navigating astrology with crystals book um, it's not even been out for a year and i also discuss mercury retrograde in that so if you're interested you can find this on amazon Okay, so my crystals for Mercury Retrograde. I brought them over here to show you. Amazonite. Can you see that? Amazonite. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone. I love this one for Mercury Retrograde because A, it helps to clear um, EMFs. It helps to really cleanse our energy. But what I love the most about it, and the reason I wear amethy or Amazonite almost every day, is because it helps to connect the heart and the throat. So during Mercury retrograde, we may be having some communication mishaps, right? Um, communication also includes listening and it com is communicating really authentically and what you mean to communicate because there can be a lot of um, misunderstandings. But this stone helps you to communicate from your heart. So it keeps the communication more heart centered and it's gorgeous, right? It's just gorgeous. Okay. Um, another stone that I really recommend during Mercury retrograde is Labradorite. I feel like my camera's a little blurry, but you can see, there we go, it caught it, beautiful. You can see the beautiful reflections of Labradorite, the blues and the grays and the different lighting, it looks different. And that's what I love about Labradorite because that's how it works. It helps us to reflect. It helps us to see things differently. It helps to bring the subconscious to the conscious for transformation. It's known as the stone of magic. It's known as the stone as transformation. My interpretation is that it helps to bring about magical transformations, especially if you set that intention with Labradorite and use it during sleep, dream work and meditation. I actually have some on. I'll show you, these are my personal bracelets that I wear a lot. And you can see this one has labradorite, selenite, and aquamarine. The reason I also recommend selenite, which I don't think I brought any over to show you except for on my bracelet. So I'll just show you on this one. 
Selenite is a purification stone. It helps your communication to be more pure. It is a cleansing stone. It has a very high vibration. It never needs to be cleansed. It cleans other things. It cleanses your energy field, your auric field. It cleanses your thoughts. It cleanses you from energy you pick up throughout the day. Um, Aquamarine is the stone of courage. It helps give you the courage to speak up, to use your voice. I have a few other aquamarines here. This top one, uh, this one that says peace here is actually Botswana agate mixed with aquamarine. And this bottom one is aquamarine. It's just a lighter variation of aquamarine. Can you tell I like aquamarine? All of these are aquamarine. Okay. So if you're interested, visit my shop, thewilltowild.com. I have all of this jewelry on there. I've handmade each piece myself with intention and love. I've curated each piece so I know that they are genuine, high quality gemstones. Okay, another mention for um, Mercury Retrograde is This one right here, and I have more on my site. I just made them, so I'm gonna be adding them, but this is Iolite, the water sapphire. So this Mercury retrograde it particularly, particularly will be really enhancing our intuition. Um, specifically, I would really pay attention to your dream work, and I would meditate, or I'm sorry, journal during this time, because a lot might come up you might revisit a lot that needs some work or some healing, and you're gonna be tuning into spirit and your intuition uh, a lot more intensely because this Mercury retrograde happens to be in Virgo, which is, you know, already our mind is gonna be extra stimulated. During this time, Iolite is known as the water sapphire. It works our third eye. If you want genuine, Sapphire. I have one of those, but this is an absolutely excellent stone to um, to really stimulate that mind. It is known as the stone of wisdom, and it is the birthstone for Virgos or those born in September. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The quality of it. So, really, this Mercury retrograde. Some takeaway tips is to carve out some time to sit and meditate to quiet your mind and i personally being a virgo and a virgo rising have found quieting the chatter in my mind is a challenge it is a daily practice i never know what that's going to look like for me i've even gotten so distracted that i've not realized to leave, that i just got up and left in the middle of a meditation because a thought came to my mind so I get it, um, but I've also really seen the benefits of it. So slowing down um, during Mercury retrograde, just slow down a little bit and carve out some time to either meditate, do some breath work or some mantra work. Any of those will be meditative for your mind and it'll help your mind to slow down and to journal. We're in the earth sign of Virgo. You know, we just left uh, Leo season, which is big and bold and create courageous. And we're going within, we're reviewing, we're thinking, we're planning, we're taking on matters of our health, and we're getting really organized, highly intuitive. Virgos are the natural mothers and healers of the zodiac season. So it's really important to ground slow down, um, go outside, barefoot in the grass, just some of these little activities, possibly juice, do your smoothies, and of course, play and wear with your crystals. Okay, so namaste, thank you for joining me, and I hope that you found this um, information helpful.